I have five kids. My oldest son is 12. I have two, two boys, a seven-year-old and an almost five-year-old. I fathered uh, three kids and adopted four. I just took in a fifth. I'm a stepfather. We have three kids. <laughs> I've got uh, two kids. I have a 16-year-old daughter, a 14-year-old son. So my father, he passed away. Everyone always thinks, you know, you become a man and that's it. There's so many things that happen that just make you realize it's not as easy. There are different expectations in what society expects of good men. But, you know, I would define it as somebody who is productive and respectful and thinks of others and has empathy. You know, empathy is a big one. What it means to be a man these days is to stand up and be accountable for your actions. I have great hope for the future generations. I like to say that I think my son is going to be a much better man than me. It's most important to me that no matter what, Graham be a good person. I'm not sure how uh, being a stay-at-home dad will impact my kids. It's, it's one of those things that is interesting because my father was basically absent for every day but Sunday for the first six years of my life. You know, not everything is about guidance. It's about really just validating the beauty in somebody. I knew the decisions my dad made were calculated and he had a reason for everything he did. For instance, I played baseball from, from T-ball all the way till All-Stars in my town, all the way up until high school. I, I couldn't tell you if he ever went to one of my games. I think he may have gone to one. My mom was always the person that was at my games. And it was because he was working. So imagine being you know, a boy playing a sport that you're good at and your dad never comes to your games. You know, it's those type of situations when you're a kid that are like, you know, does he actually care? But um, there were the things that he did that showed that he loved me that weren't necessarily showing up for things like that. Like he always said he was proud of me whenever I did something that was worthy of praise. And um, that was his way of showing love. When I was working in, in the 80s, if I missed a sales meeting because my wife was sick and I had to take care of my child, I was talked about in that sales meeting. And people told me that, my colleagues told me that the next day when I got back to work. And I was very hurt by that. And that was one of the compelling reasons that I, I wanted to become self-employed. So that I was in control of my own destiny and I was in control of the time that I wanted to spend with my family, which I felt was the most valuable time I could possibly spend on this planet. For a lot of years, it just seemed like men, you know, were not seen as, as real parents. They were seen only as breadwinners. And so their role in the family was really minimized. One of the things I used to say is 364 days a year when we talk about parenting, it's a woman. And one day a year, we celebrated the fact that dads, dads are parents too. This is no longer a once a year thing. It's an everyday thing. And fathers aren't just celebrated one day, but they're really celebrated and understood every day of the year. A message I'd have for my son is, you have to think about that. You know what you're supposed to do. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> I want to thank my sons for making me a better man. I want to thank them for the patience that they have with me. I want to thank them for loving me back. I want to thank them for not loving me back when they didn't. I want to thank them for teaching me what it looks like to grow at every phase of your life and to understand that that growth is never over. And I want to tell them beyond a shadow of a doubt, I would die in the street for any of them at any second of the day. And thank you so much, I'm blessed. What I want to do is I want to learn from my father. I want to be involved in my, my kid's life. There'll be nothing that will ever stop me. It will hurt me terribly when he's off on his own and being his own man. He won't need me anymore. It already hurts me now to a certain extent. He doesn't need me as much as he used to. Well, my message to my boys would be, um, you know, give it your best shot. That's what Grandpa always told me. If you strive to do the best that you can, that you can achieve anything that you want to. Well, I, I'll start first by saying how proud I am of my son. And now you have your son, and it's the greatest joy in my life to be able to watch you be a father to your son and look forward to watching you both grow.
I guess this Father's Day, I would just, I would say, um, thanks for giving me all the tools. Um, I feel like I could be a, a really good dad because of you. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you.